so here we are continuing off last video we're at the actual dyno we're getting the car ready to jump on the rollers we're draining the 93 right now because we're tuning on e85 and we're just waiting for the dyno to free up Yeah, it's empty. All the fuel's gone? Yeah, I think so. It's just taking a little bit to catch up on the gauge. Yeah, yeah it, it was the gauge. It wouldn't, it, the gauge. Which gauge? Down. This one? No, no, no. The fuel, fuel gauge. What's it saying? How much is it? At the quarter? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's going to say that because it's, it's, it hasn't been turned on. No, uh. -uh. Cool. Nah, hold it. When you prime it, nothing's going to go off. Sounds dry. Nothing's coming on? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, two last questions. Should I leave the slicks on for the dyno or should I throw a regular speed tires on? I would rather you, because this will tear the tires up. Okay. My, my, my roll is like a cheese grater in okay. these tires, and they'll, they'll be rubber everywhere. Right. You know what I mean? It won't gain you anything from having them on. Yeah. All it's going to do is no, take... No, we, we were going to bring them just like this. Bro, it'll, take, them it'll take 30 thou off, like yeah. in a dyno session. You okay. know what I mean? A big horsepower with car, bro, it'll take a quarter inch off. No, we almost, we almost left the other tires. We were like, oh, yeah, that's so spring is the thing. Yeah, you better, you're better off. You're, you're way better off. If you, when you're ready, when you put the 85 in it, it might run. So we'll get it, we'll get it to over there. And then what we'll do is we'll jack up the back. And you guys should change the tires, right? On the pavement over there. It's easier on the bank, in, in the bank. Okay, I guess I have the jack and everything. And yeah, you can do it right inside. Mm -hmm. And that way we're one step closer to being over there. I'm done. I'm done this car. I just gotta finish buttoning it up, and then we're good. Now we have time to do this. Thing. Go button up, kid. Go, go, go.
so we're back at the house now um, we weren't able to fix the issue with the car at the dyno so basically what ended up happening was I had both the 06 injector spacers for the grams as well as the 05 and down ones on at the same time and it spaced them up a little bit too high and then eventually the vibrations from everything backed off the bolts and it just sprayed fuel everywhere unbeknownst to me at the time that I had both adapters on at the dyno otherwise I would just pull them off and fix it right there in five minutes and continue the session whatever I was mine was elsewhere do we have a video of the fluid going everywhere yeah yeah all I seen was like the guy like jump up and was like oh I feel wet <laughs> yeah I got it I'll, I'll put that here over this portion where we're talking so you guys get to see it yeah um <laughs> It's, the car is partially tuned. Um, we didn't get to any of the power stuff. We were just getting it, getting the drivability down on E85. Because um, we did tune on E85. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that earlier on. This is another day, so I'm not too sure. You're supposed to look at something over there? Yeah, look into the camera like you're talking to us. Not stop looking over there. I'm um, having a conversation with the car. Yeah, but you're having now you're having a conversation with us. No, you guys are watching me have a conversation with the car. No, that's just not how it works. You're having a conversation with us, letting us know what happened to the car. You're not talking to the car because the car already knows what's happening. It's a car. How does it know what happened to it? Because the car fucked up. It's an inanimate object. Talk to the camera. Okay. So we didn't even play with timing. Uh, VTEC crossover or anything yet. The one power pole where the, well not power pole, I guess where they stretch it out, is when the rail popped off. And they cut the car at like seven grand and it made 202 wheel and 152 wheel torque, which is pretty good for short shifting the car because it had another 1500 RPM to go. So I'm hopeful to see what numbers it actually makes once it's tuned all the way out. I think I'm gonna cut the red line at 8,500. And that'll be the next video. So we'll see you next time when we're back at the dyno that's actually scheduled, booked, got everything ready for that. The then, day before IFL. Yep, yeah, so tuning the night, not even the day, the, the night before import face off mm -hmm. and hopefully the car decides to play nice. You. Thanks for watching this episode and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time.